Pastor Hagee is head of Christians United for Israel, and that's the largest pro-Israel organization in the United States, 750,000 active members. And these guys, every year, and every, every year, every major city in the United States, they hold a night to honor Israel. So all across the United States, every major city, every year, is a night to honor Israel. So he's kept very conscious in the American thinking as well. He pastors a church in San Antonio with 20,000 active members, but he's very concerned with Israel. As a matter of fact, he's put over 60 million dollars into humanitarian efforts in Israel. 60 million, 200 million shekels. That's a lot put in humanitarian efforts. Pastor Hagee has a heart and a love for Israel, and we had, out of faith, hope, and charity, uh, Pastor Mullen spoke about charity, Rabbi Riskin spoke about hope, and now Pastor John Hagee will speak about faith. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor John Hagee. Greetings to each and every person who has given your time and treasure to join us in Caesarea with Glenn Beck and Restoring Courage Celebration. I want to say personally, God bless Glenn Beck for his godly courage in making this night happen. This night is about courage. And the history of Israel is the portrait of courage. No greater words of courage have been spoken in human history than the words of Moses 3,500 years ago in his farewell address to Israel just before they crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land. The land was filled with powerful enemies. Joshua was an unproven leader. The air was charged with a sense of fear and uncertainty. I want you to capture this scene in your mind. Moses stands to speak. He's 120 years of age. His radiant white hair is blowing in the breeze. His flesh has been bronzed by the burning sun of 40 years in the desert. His message that day is exactly the message we need to hear today. It's recorded in Deuteronomy 31.6. He said, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of your enemies. For the Lord your God is with you. He will not fail you, and He will not forsake you. People of Israel, our hope is not in Washington, D.C. Our hope is in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our hope is the God that crushed the walls of Jericho. Our hope is the God who walked through the fire with the three Hebrew children. Our hope is the God who delivered Goliath into the hands of King David. Our hope is in the God who was with Esther, who said, If I perish, I perish. And God used her to crush the conspiracy against the Jewish people in the Persian Empire. Our hope is in the God who brought the exiles back from their Gentile graves. And Israel was reborn in 1948 according to the promises of the prophets. Our hope is in the God of Israel whose miracle working power brought victory in the Six Day War. Our hope is in the Lord of hosts he will not fail us. He will not forsake us. He will defend us. People of Israel, we have come from America and the nations of the world as people of faith to say that God is with you. Fifty million evangelicals in America are with you. This time in history, you are not alone.
Millions of Christians here and around the world love you. They support you and pledge to stand with you today, tomorrow, and forever. As Christians, we believe that this land is a sacred land. It is your land, given to you by an eternal blood covenant recorded in the book of Genesis 4,000 years ago. Israel must never be separated from their ancient biblical roots to this land. We have come tonight to say that the people of Israel are still the apple of God's eye. They are still the chosen people. They are still the covenant people. They are still cherished by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your enemies are our enemies. Your fight is our fight. We are united and we will prevail.